Hello, I'm back again. As you can see, I um, I've laid more colors on the uh, painting I was uh, talking about earlier, and now I have. I'm working on the background. I put some colors on the background, and the artwork is building up. I want to show the progress of this. Um, particular artwork because um, this will help so many people who are trying to come into painting. The first video I showed was the wash of the painting. Now I'm building up. You can see blue on the background, light blue and purple. I'm building on the yellow. But as I go on further, you begin to see changes, lots of changes on the... Um, on the painting so uh when you use um acrylic to paint it's faster and easier for you to feel oil is beautiful because oil gives that shine and that glow acrylic also gives that glow and the shine it depends on what kind of acrylic that you buy so um right now you can see light blue and light purple which is throwing out the figure and as i progress you're going to see darker colors to bring out the figure to look realistic even though it's abstract um that's what you're going to see as i progress right now i am still painting the background i'm going to tilt the video so you can see where i'm painting I'm still trying to, I'm still using the light blue to cover up all the background so that the background will have lots of light blue mixed with purple because um, the complementary color for yellow is purple. Light blue can also be a complementary color. It depends on how you use it. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to finish up the, the background. And when you use a brush, make sure you use acrylic brush. Don't use oil brushes for your acrylic. It might be too thick. So always use the right brush. Acrylic brushes for acrylic paint. And don't, I remember, it's water-based for acrylic. You don't use um, a top and time for your acrylic. So, I'm just trying to see what it's going to look like when I use these colors on the background, first of all. Because I would like to show you the finished work of this painting. I'm pouring more white. You can't see me pour it on my palette. Don't worry, I'm going to improve on my video very soon. <laughs> so... I'm just putting colors. <clears throat> if you look at the first video, you see they were all it was all kind of yellow ochre all through. Now you're seeing changes, right? You begin to see the figure properly. So Maybe I have to put music when I'm painting so nobody gets bored. Okay, so I'm going to tilt it a little bit to the side here. I'm painting on the ground now. Now you can see more of my brushes in the background and mixing my color because I'm painting this. I have to tilt the video a little bit. 
I had a little bit of accident when I was painting because I'm using a very tiny painting um, table to put everything. So make sure you have a big table so you don't have accidents like me. And if you live in a house with rocks, you have to put something on the base so you don't stain your whole house painting. I'm messing up your whole floor. That would be horrible. And don't be afraid to use lots of colors, please. Don't be too stingy on colors. <clears throat> It's almost looking like a fire. <laughs> it has a design already down there at the bottom. Okay, the background wash is almost completed. Put in this one here. Now, the background is kind of finished. That's for wash. Not that I've finished the artwork, but it's just... Uh, so, I'm just going to hold... I'm just going to move this, tilt it to show you around what it looks like. To the end. That's a wash. You can see? It's building up. So, I'm going to stop here. And show you the finished work of the painting I'm not going to show you anymore the progress I've showed you just the wash now when I finish the painting I'm going to show you the finished work of this and now you can compare the sketch the wash and the finishing and then you're gonna appreciate the finished work of this painting so till then till next time have a blessed day. Have a wonderful 2019 and God bless you. Bye.